Hello everybody and welcome to a vlog! Okie dokie. Right, I haven't got anything to do today. <clears throat> Ignore this here. I'm going to be trying to see how much maths I can remember. I haven't done maths for a really long time, not going to lie. Oh, by the way, look at this. Apple Pencil. This is the old Apple Pencil that I have for this iPad. And for university, I ordered a brand new iPad and a brand new Apple Pencil. And... Got free AirPods with it. So uh, there's, there was a uni days offer. You got free AirPods. So I was like, okay, got to do that. So look, hang on a minute. Brand new Apple Pencil. Look at that. Today, we're using the old Apple Pencil, my old iPad, to see how much maths I can remember from college. Hopefully. Okay, I need a charger. Hold on a minute. Plug the iPad in. So I just thought... Because I've not really got much to do, I thought I'd do a bit of maths because I've not done some for a really long time and I just can't really remember what I was doing before lockdown. So let's see what we can remember. I think I might need a book. This is actually not mine, it's actually my teacher's. So I don't think my teacher will be watching, but it is going to get back to you. Once I can go back to college, I'll give you this book back, miss, don't worry. Okay, so anybody who doesn't know, I'd done my maths A-level in my first year at college, and then I was going to do my further maths A-level. I was doing the Edexcel course, I was doing copy one, copy two, decision, and FP1 for the pure. This was the book that I was last doing. You see, towards the end here, there's like, hang on, I can't see. There's methods of calculus, numerical methods, reducible differential equations, and all of that was quite, quite easy to do, but quite difficult to learn, if you know what I mean. There was a simple method that was just, you just followed it every time, really. So, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna try and do a little one down here. So, I'm gonna see what I can do here, and then I'm gonna have a go on the board if I can't do it. I'm gonna have a go at this question here. Now, it's got the answer here, so if I get stuck, I can look at the answer but it's an example one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is copy it down onto my iPad. Okay, show the, that transformation. Y equals X, Z. That transformation can convert that into that. First thing we need to do is, number one, differentiate with respect to X. So dy dx of course then differentiate that respect to x will just give us z differentiate that will give us um dz dx x dz dx yeah then what i need to do is substitute into there so then number two yeah and then we need to get x dz on its own. Minus z, is that right? And what happens, what do we need? We need a z. Um, I'm confused here. A lot of boring math, Leto. Ah, we know that y equals x z, is that right? y equals x z, yeah. So y squared will be x squared z squared. Okay, so. Um, oh no thanks! Okay, now we need to find a general solution. So, part B. Let's go do that. Y squared in terms of X. 
y squared in terms of x will then be x squared rocks of ax minus 1. Perfect. Did it. Okay, if I ever get stuck on a question, we have a whiteboard in the office and I always do it on a whiteboard. So, I'm out of breath. The first thing is I'm going to just randomly select a question. Now we just did the example here. Maybe I'll do this other example as well. So I'm gonna write the question down first. Write it down in full. Part A, use the substitution u equals y minus x dy dx equals y minus x plus two y minus x plus three into, oh, this is a bit of a different one, this one. It just says into a differential equation. If anybody takes further maths A level for uh, the NXL course, I don't know about the rest of them because I don't know what they do. If you take the further pure module, this is a nice question that you get. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some colors. Got blue, red, and a green. I need to differentiate the substitute. Differentiate it with respect to x. We're going to do du dx. Then I need to set that and that equal to each other. Top tip: if you ever get stuck. No matter if you've got a whiteboard like this or not, get a piece of paper, talk yourself through it as if no one's listening. In my case, I'm putting it on the internet. Anyway, really, really helps. So we need to set those to equal to each other. So let's get a nice color. D U on DX plus one, that's right, equals Y minus X plus two, Y minus X plus three. Window cleaners. Okay, du dx plus one equals that will be u plus two over u plus three minus one. That into there. Oh, mm. this is where it's okay to look at the solution. I think I actually could have just done that. I could have just done that straight away. I went a bit around the houses here, but that's fine. The thing is with further maths A-level and A-level maths as well, if anybody's thinking of taking it, you have to, there's quite a few methods. Even if it works, that's great, but you have to find the method that is quickest. Because I actually didn't need to do this. I could have just done it straight from that step and substituted that in, if you know what I'm talking about. Basically, that's an easier way I could have done, but I didn't. I went a little bit around the houses here, but it's fine. Just in an exam, you would have wasted a little bit of time. Then I need to just simplify this here. Minus one over u plus three is my answer. And their answer is also minus one over u plus three. Wow. Yes, look at that. The general solution that we're asked to find. Y minus X all squared plus 6Y minus 4X minus 2C equals naught. There's my final answer. Y minus X all squared plus 6Y minus 4X minus 2C equals naught. Perfect. I have learned a little bit today. That's pretty cool. I just think, let me sit you down right here. I just think so many people will have not done maths for so long, um, including me. I really enjoy doing maths and I haven't done it for so long that just something like that has come back to me. Quite a difficult topic in the further maths that was. Reducible differential equations, I think it's called. And it's quite difficult, so I'm glad that I've still got that in my head. Really hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't do too much, just about three questions just to get my brain going again, but hopefully, it inspires you to do a little bit of maths, a little bit of work. If you're starting your A-levels and you need a little bit of help with A-level maths, I have a book out and it's currently on sale. Use the code MATHS5 to get £5 off the book. It's an e-book, 
link is in the description if you want to buy it. It's really, really good. It's got over 70 practice questions, covers the starter topics for A-level, and I made it myself. I was really proud of it. So if you're thinking of buying it, it's currently on sale. Like I said, use code MATHS5 for £5 off. Also head over to I Need Help With Maths on Instagram if you need some maths help. For some reason I'm really, really sniffling, I don't know why. Maybe it's this jumper, I don't know. Really hope this video inspired you to do a little bit of work, like I said, or you just enjoyed it because you wanted something to watch. Either way, hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go and do some work, do some maths, something like that. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you very, very soon with a brand new video. Bye! This is where it's okay to look at the solution.